मैथ्स मेला सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक मैथ्स मेला टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स फॉर क्लास थ्री चैप्टर फाइव फन विद शेप्स ऑन द पेज वी हैव अ पिक्चर ऑफ टू बॉयज हु आर ट्राइंग टू मेक रंगोली यूजिंग डॉट्स एंड शेप्स देर इज ऑल्सो द मदर ऑफ द बॉयज सीन इन द पिक्चर मेकिंग अन अदर रंगोली वन बॉय सेज टू द अदर Something is wrong. Our rangoli is not like my amma's rangoli. The other boy says, "Amma made a pretty rangoli with dots and shapes. Let us also make it on paper." The boys have a picture of rangoli on paper made with dots and shapes as is their mother. Let us do. 1 Make Amma's rangoli on the dots given here. We have some dots given here and a picture of a pencil along with a girl. You are supposed to make the rangoli. Page forty-five. Two. Name the shapes drawn in Amma's rangoli. Dash, dash, dash. On the right side of the page we have a picture of rangoli made with dots and shapes. 3. How many shapes are made with 1 curved lines dash 2 straight lines dash 4. Use shapes and objects from the classroom to make a rangoli design. Outline the object and color. Blank space is given. Five. Try to make the following objects using shape cutouts. Here, some interesting objects are given in the pictures with different shapes. May use early mathematics kit N C E R T. Teachers note: Encourage children to use shapes creatively. Let children compare two rangolis and discuss their similarities and differences. page 46 let us do here we have two girls in a picture on the top of the page one girl says i want to make a gift box of sweets for diwali how do i make it the other girl answers let us see what a box looks like when it is opened up fully one collect some cardboard box Collect some cardboard boxes and open them up carefully. What shapes do you see in the flattened boxes? We again have a picture of two girls. One girl says, "I want to make an envelope for my Diwali card. This is for my grandparents." The other girl says, "How nice! I can show you how to make it." Two, make an envelope. Use a square piece of paper and fold it as shown here. Four steps are given to fold the piece of square paper to make an envelope. Teachers note: Encourage children to open the box and look at the number of faces and notice their shapes. Let children make cylinders and cones with paper and cubes and cuboids with the nets provided in the book page 47 baking biscuits here we have a chef who is baking some biscuits along with some kids around him one boy says they fit together in the box so well one girl says yes because they are all rectangular in shape and have the same size in another picture a girl says observe the faces of these objects what is common in them around her are three different objects with similar shapes on the bottom of the page we have a conversation shown in the picture between a boy and a girl the boy says i got a square and a rectangle after tracing the wooden box the girl tells us i got three different rectangles after drawing outlines of the matchbox 
we see a wooden box and a matchbox around them. We have a rectangular wooden box and a matchbox around the two kids. Why did the two children get different shapes? Discuss. Name any three objects that have rectangular faces. Dash, dash, dash. Page 48. Let us do. 1. Trace all the faces of any cuboidal object. Example, sharpener or eraser. A blank space is given for you. A. How many different faces did you get? Dash. B. What shapes are these faces? Dash. C. Did you get a square? Dash. D. Can you get six different rectangles by tracing a cuboid? Dash. E. Can a cuboid have a face like a triangle? Dash. F. The faces of a cuboid are dash or dash in shape. Page 49. 2. Construct the rectangles using the sides given here. We see a dotted pattern with some lines drawn here and the picture of a girl. 3. Draw three bigger rectangles around this small rectangle. Again we have a pattern of dots with a rectangle drawn in the middle. A boy is thinking about three bigger rectangles. Teacher's note. Allow children to build a rectangle with four sticks. Observe if children have developed an intuitive sense of a rectangle. Introduce the word rectangle. Provide them opportunities to observe and draw rectangles of different sizes and in different orientations on a dot grid. Page 50. 4. Count and write the number of rectangles in the given picture. Dash. We have a picture here comprising of many different rectangles. 5. Consider the different rectangles given here and answer the questions. We have many different rectangular shapes in different colors given here. A. How many sides are there in a rectangle? Dash. B. How many corners are there in a rectangle? Dash. C. Are there any sides in a rectangle that are equal in length to each other? Dash. What do you notice in a rectangle? Describe it in your own words. Page 51. Same to same. Here we have a boy and a girl having some interesting conversation. The girl says, My aunt gifted us a board game. She is showing a board game to the boy. The boy says, Oh, these tiles are exactly like squares. The boy tells her, showing another object. The chess and Ludo boards are also square in shape. The girl replies, But when I fold them, they become a rectangle. The boy replies, I wonder what is the difference between a square and a rectangle? The girl tells him, I found a difference. Look at their sides. In a rectangle, all sides do not necessarily have to be equal in length. It is enough to have just the opposite sides be equal in length. The girl is showing the boy pictures of a rectangle and a square on a table. The boy tells her, In a square, all sides must be equal in length. 1. Both have dash sides. 2. Both have dash corners. How many squares can you make out in this drawing? We have a drawing comprising of some squares. There is a blank box for your answer. Teacher's note. Allow children to make a square with four sticks. Observe if children have developed an intuitive sense of a square and right angle. 
page 52. Let us do. 1. Here is a square. Draw two bigger squares around this square. We have a dot grid here with a square given in the middle. You are supposed to draw two bigger squares around it. 2. Use matchsticks to make a square so that it has squares on all its sides. How many squares did you get? 3. Complete the squares using the sides given here. Again on the bottom of the page we have a dot matrix with some lines drawn. Complete the squares as required. Page 53 4. Use the square cutouts from the book to do this activity. A dot matrix is given on the right side of the page. How many different shapes can you make by joining A. 2 squares B. 3 squares C. 4 squares Show them in a dot grid. Some dot grids are provided in the back of the book. Let us explore. 1. Tick the shapes that are rectangles. We have the picture of a board here with some random shape cutouts pasted on it. You have to tick the shapes that are rectangles. Which figures are not rectangles? Explain why. 2. Can you fold all the corners of a square sheet in such a way that the number of corners remains the same? On the bottom of the page we have a square cardboard sheet with dotted lines marked. 3. Make a square on a cardboard sheet and cut along the dotted lines marked on the square as given to get four triangles. Make as many different shapes as possible by joining three triangles together. How many shapes can you make? Now try with four triangles together. Page 54 Square Corners We have a girl and a boy talking about some interesting topic. In front of them, on a table, we have many different shapes. The boy asks, Which tile will fit in the corner of this table? Will the same tile fit in the corner of the math book? The girl is holding the math book. Are the corners of a square the same? Dash. How do you know? Pile up some squares over one another and watch. And observe. Are the corners of a rectangle the same? How do you know? Pile up some rectangles over one another and observe. Are the corners of the square and a rectangle the same? Name some objects in your class that have only square corners. Dash. On the bottom of the page, we have a picture of two boys and two girls involved in a decorating activity. In front of them on the table are different objects. One boy says, Let us decorate these frames with threads. One girl says, The corners of a square and a rectangle are square corners. The other boy asks, Are the corners of this shape the same as that of a square and a rectangle? The other girl is holding a square and a triangle in her hands. Page 55 here we see a picture of a boy and a girl holding a decorative item made with the help of threads and some different shapes. The girl is telling us, How beautiful! Let us do. You can join two paper strips to show different corners. Here we have the picture of three such different corners. The first one is less than a square corner. Second one is square corner. Third one is more than a square corner. Use the strips to show a square corner, more than a square corner and less than a square corner.
can you use the strip to check whether the corner of your table and the board are square corners? 1. Mark the square corners in these shapes. Here we have six different shapes in different colors. 2. Connect the dots to make some squares. Here we see some dots in a circular pattern. How many different squares did you get? Dash. Teacher's note. Encourage children to classify shapes with only a square corner, shapes with less than a square corner and shapes with more than a square corner. Some shapes will have more than one type of corner. Make such shapes using matchsticks. Page 56. 3. Observe the picture given here and answer these. A. Count and write the number of corners. Dash. B. Circle the square corners. We have a picture of a boat here made with different shapes. 4. Use two matchsticks to make two square corners and then four square corners. Draw and show it in the space given below. Here we have a blank space in a box. A girl who is telling us, I can use two matchsticks to make one square corner. We see a square corner made with matchsticks here. 5. Murugan made three squares with ten matchsticks. We have the picture of Murugan and the ten matchsticks arranged in squares on the bottom right of the page. How many squares can you make with twelve matchsticks? Page 57 Triangle, triangle, so many triangles. Here we have the scene of a birthday party. A boy and a girl are talking to each other with many different eatable items on the table before them. The girl asks, What is common to all these things? The boy replies, They have triangular faces. Describe a triangle. Triangles have dash sides. They have dash corners. Let us do. 1. Draw and name some triangular objects that you see around you, that you observe around you in your notebook. 2. Count the number of triangles in the given rangoli. Here we have two different rangolis made with triangles. A, dash, B, dash. C, 3. How many different triangles can be made using the dots on the circle given? Here we have four dots in a circular pattern given here and a blank space for your answer. 4. Move two matchsticks to turn the one triangle into two triangles. Here we see a triangle made up of matchsticks on the right corner. Teacher's note. Paper folding and cutting to be used to create different types of triangles. Students should be encouraged to build triangles with sticks and clay. Page 58. Circus with circles. We have a picture of a circus scene here on the top of the page. We see two different girl artists on the corners, a dolphin in the middle playing with a ball and a clown doing his activity. Let us discuss. 1. Have you been to a circus? 2. What does a circle look like? How is a circle different from a rectangle? Let us do. 1. Name some objects that are like circles. 2. Draw colourful circles to complete the circus scene. Here we have a circus scene given below. We have a circus scene here which needs to be completed using some circles. There is a magician, a dog and a clown in the picture. 3. Draw circles by tracing bottle caps, bangles and rings in your notebook. Page 59 Children are playing a game. They have made a circle on the ground. 
Have you played any game where you need to draw a circle? Dash. Try to make a circle on the playground. We have a picture of a girl on the right side trying to make a circle on the ground using a pencil and a thread. We have a group of two boys and a girl having a conversation. One boy asks, What are you doing with the paper plate? The second boy holding the paper plate answers, I am folding the plate in half. The first boy says, Open it up. The second boy answers, See, I got a straight line going through the circle. I made it red. The first boy again says, I made other folds and made the lines blue. The second boy says, They are not as long as the red line. The second boy again says, Let me fold another half and see what happens. The first boy says, You get two straight lines and they meet at a point. The girl asks, Is that the center of the circle? Page 60 Let us take a paper plate and fold it in half the same ways as the children did. The point where the lines meet is the center of the circle. Make some puppets using circular shapes and play with them. On the right side of the page, we have two such puppets made using circular shapes. Let us do. 1. Observe these two shapes and discuss their similarities and differences. Tick the appropriate word. We have two different shapes given here. On the right side, we have the picture of a boy who is telling us, Both the square and the triangle have straight edges. A. Their corners are same, different. B. Number of sides is same, different. 3. We have five different shapes given on the right edge of the page. Choose any pair of shapes. Share the similarities and differences in these shapes with your friends. Page 61. Find the largest rectangle in these shapes. We have four different shapes made of rectangles given here. 5. I made one triangle, then I made another row of triangles. How many triangles are there in the second figure? Dash. If I make one more row, how many triangles will be there in the third figure? Observe the picture given on the right side, made of different triangles. 6. Here are some rectangles that are torn. How many square pieces have been torn from each shape? On the right side, we see some pictures of rectangles which are torn. You have blank spaces given for your answers. Teacher's Note Children can play Find my rectangle game. Use dot paper. One child marks two opposite vertices of a rectangle on the dot paper. The second child has to complete the rectangle shape or shapes. Page 62. 7. Each of these shapes can be the odd one out. We have four different shapes given here. How is each one odd? Discuss. 8. To complete the rectangle, Tick the appropriate shapes from the left side to fill the gaps in the shape on the right side. We have different shapes given on the left and the right side here. 9. Draw two lines to split the shape into three triangles. We have a shape given here. 10. Draw one line to split the shape into three triangles. We have a different shape given here. 11. Make these shapes with different sizes and orientations, that is, angular positions, in your notebook. A. Triangle B. Rectangle C. Circle D. Other shape Page 63 Doors, dots, lines Here we have a picture of a girl and a boy doing some flower decoration. 
The girl says, Look at the flower decoration. The boy says, So many lines and curves. In another picture, a boy is showing his grandma's sari. My grandma's saris have beautiful line borders. Try to make your own border designs using both curved and straight lines. A rectangular grid is given for you. Continue the following line pattern. We have a line pattern given in a rectangular grid box. Tangram. Use the pieces from the Tangram puzzle given in the end of the book. Can you create these shapes using some of the pieces? On the right side of the page, we see some pieces from the Tangram puzzle. Maths Mela, you were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator, Gaurav Marwaha and Vasundhara Bose. Sound recording and editing, Vikas Sangwan. Directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.